In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the best star powers within the game right now. These are the star powers that you desperately need to save gold for. So starting off with Jesse's star power called Energize. So with Energize, it really allows Jesse's turret to thrive a lot or else it really gets taken out way too easily without his star powers. So every single time you hit your turret with his star power, it will heal around 900 HP. Doesn't sound like a lot, but there's a couple of reasons why his star power is actually really strong. So the first one is that it actually extends the range of Jesse's. So say if your turret is at max range distance and then you shoot it, it will bounce off the turret and then potentially onto an opponent. So of course, increasing the range can be pretty good. Also, it just allows you to hit opponents a little bit easier. You know, sometimes opponents can wiggle quite easily. So if you just keep spamming your turret and then you don't need to really aim it at the opponents, right? And then the last one is actually the capabilities for scouting grasses. So a lot of times you can place your turret kind of around the grass and shoot the turret and it will reveal whereabouts the opponent is. So a couple of good uses to energize. I think you definitely need it with Jesse. Next up, we have Tick Star Power called Well Oiled. So Well Oiled allows a Tick to heal up two seconds faster than normal so this is really good for tick in particular because a lot of the maps especially game modes like bounty and knockout you really use tick as like a pressure brawler so being able to heal up really fast allows you to keep up the pressure and it's also pretty good just because ticks reload speed is really slow and you can constantly keep up the cycle of the spamming really well with his star power also a really good thing about the star power as well it synergizes really well with the shield gears so a lot of times you can start healing get back that shield gear as soon as possible because uh, of course tick is so squishy so some really good synergy going on with his star power and gears so next up with another must have star power we have a cold star power called protective pirouette so this star power is one of my favorites in the game the main reason being is because it makes Carl like a somewhat decent brawler to one of the best in the game because a 35 percent shield whenever you super it makes it again from like a mediocre super to such insane slaying power it's so hard to take down a call when he has protective especially when he starts off the super at full hp you know that probably makes him nearly like 10k hp whilst in that super so pretty insane star power for me and as i said you really do need it because Carl is a super aggressive ruler in this meta without it i feel like it just gets taken down too easily so next up on the list we have a gasser hill so i feel like gasser hill and Stu are just meant to be together literally the best kind of complementary build you could really ask for so Stu definitely doesn't need his star power you gain 400 healing per dash which if you're a low ping stew or just a really good ping uh, stew, basically you can uh, get two dashes off with one ammo. So that is literally like 800 healing per ammo. You're not going to be able to do this every single time. But it allows you to stay in the gunfights a lot easier, especially if you're playing like Hot Zone, for example, just dashing in and around, staying on the zone as long as possible. Survivability is really key. And that's why Gas Heal is such a good star power. Next up, we have Piper's star power called Snappy Sniping. So with this star power, every single time you hit a shot, you get 0.4 of your ammo back. So this is really good because, of course, Piper has one of the slowest reload speeds within the game. So whether you hit an opponent, whether you hit a spawner, a turret, you're going to get 0.4 of your ammo back. That's why I think it's really good because normally you know, spawners or anything like that are really going to counter Piper. But this star power allows you to stay in the fight a lot better one thing i really like about it as well is with the auto aimer gadget every single time you hit that onto opponent you actually get 0.4 of your armor back so it actually pairs really well with both gadgets in the game as long as you're hitting those gadgets onto the opponent so yeah definitely a really strong power to have with piper so next up we have griff star power called business resilience so with this star power every two seconds you'll be healing 15 percent of your missing hp so the reason why this is really good because you can continue shooting whilst you're still healing up of course you can't really do that with any brawler within the game so it's definitely a really good mechanic to have and especially on certain game modes which griff really thrives on they're like hot zone and heist where you really need to keep up the pressure this star power again allows you to stay in the fight so that's the main reason why it's so incredibly strong and especially when you're below like 1000 hp you'll actually start healing around 600 700 hp every two seconds which is really good against those low dps brothers so griff is definitely really strong only because of his star power really. so next up we have gene's star power called magic puff so every single time the opponent is around a certain vicinity around gene that he will be healing them for 400 every single second so it's definitely a really good star power to have it's always been a good star power gene the, one of the best inside of the whole game the main reason why it's so good again just kind of like the business resilience with 
uh, griff it allows you to just keep on shooting whilst of course you're getting that passive 400 healing so the only offensive downside to it is that you have to stick close to june every single time uh, but still it can really allow you to apply a lot of pressure you can think of really good combinations with gene you know like max for example it allows you to both like basically keep in the gunfight and especially with max he can keep tanking the shots for gene and you know they come as a pair so that's definitely a really good combination to have with magic pulse next up on the list we have curveball so not really much to talk about in terms of curveball it's just really op really easy to hit shots with of course in the open some people can dodge curveball but it's just so annoying especially around walls as well a lot of times you may even hit shots when you just aim is terrible and you'll just end up hitting an opponent so curveball is definitely needed with spikes so next up moving on to meg star power called force field so with this star power every single time meg falls out of her mech form she'll gain a 35 percent shield for 30 seconds it's insane one of the most valuable star powers within the game to have a shield for 30 seconds basically you're gonna be able to cycle your mech every single time and of course meg is really squishy so this shield is really gonna help her stay in the fight and actually be uh, kind of aggressive with her star power so for me it's a must-have with meg so next up we have two star powers in one with bellomania and ink refills so the main reason why i put these together it's because they, they serve the same purpose with their brawlers. So with Otis, ink refills, it adds an extra shot onto your ammo. The same with Chester as well with Bellomania. So both of these star powers, I feel like, are literally so essential. If anything, they're probably the best star powers in the game because they literally should be a part of their base kit. So if you remove the star power from Otis, for example, he only has three shots per ammo. And he actually is one of the worst brawlers in the game without the star power. Same goes with Chester. Like, you really need that fourth sequence to ramp up the damage. So both star powers are a must-have for these brawlers. Next up, we have a Surge's star power called Serve Ice Cold. So with this star power, every single time you die, you'll be respawning back to the second stage. Well, as long as you've got that second stage to begin with. So the main reason why it's so good, because you're a sitting duck with Surge's first level and you don't really want to be staying at that level once you respawn it can take a long time sometimes against some matchups to even get your first level right so you don't want to have to constantly be respawning and you know being super slow so the star power is really strong and has always been one of the best star powers in the game next up we have a rough star power called air superiority so this star power it's definitely essential to his kits so every single time he gets a super he's able to break open grass or walls whatever he throws it so this is really good because a lot of times you can make such amazing plays with this super being able to break open a map especially in brawl can be really good but a lot of times you can just manipulate the map the way you want it especially if you're uh, got really good synergy you know with another brawler like b for example you can break open a map and just start to go to town and this main reason why rust is actually so strong in a meta because wall breaks are just so op in the game right now so next up we have a buzz's star power called eyes shop so this star power allows you to have a 33 percent bigger radius to your supercharging circle so of course this is really good because the more people you catch within this radius the quicker your super will start charging but not only that sometimes the scenario may not always play into your favor you know sometimes the walls may break open really easily so it might be really hard to get close to your opponent so a lot of the times you can kind of keep your distance well and kind of catch them on the edge of your kind of circle so eventually you'll get your super but if you use the other star power or no star power it's really hard to kind of keep your distance while still charging that super so for me it's a must have with Buzz. And lastly, for the star powers that you definitely need within Brawl Stars right now, we have Janet's star power called Vocal Warm Up. So, this star power allows you to focus up your attack 30% quicker. So, it doesn't seem like a lot. But before this star power came out, Janet was really underwhelming and she quickly became one of the best brawlers within the game because of how strong this star power was. So, for me, it's definitely a must have. It allows you to, of course, be a lot more accurate, a lot more quicker. And especially at those longer ranges, Janet can actually be pretty strong with his stop power. All right, guys, it's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know what you think are also really strong stop powers within the game right now. And of course, there's a lot of really good stop powers, but these ones are mainly the ones that you basically can't live without with uh with the brawler and with the star powers so you know for example like surge you definitely need to serve ice cold like of course there's a ton of really good star powers within the game but you know for a few you just definitely need the star power or else you're really going to suffer for the long run so yeah that's gonna be it for today's video guys hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time